Hello everyone and welcome to Power Pages Tips. My name is Nicholas Hayduk and this is tip number 261, jQuery and Power Pages. When I started my career in 2009, jQuery was one of the go-to JavaScript libraries. It made supporting various browsers so much easier than with just vanilla JavaScript. It's no surprise then that Power Pages or ADX Studio Portals, as it was then known, leverages jQuery, since it was also getting started around this time. jQuery is included automatically on every Power Pages web page. It is included via JavaScript bundle file. Look for a file starting with Preform. The current version is 3.6.2. Due to jQuery's popularity at the time when the product was initially developed, Many of the examples you'll find, both in official documentation and in community resources, will use jQuery. But there's no requirement that your custom JavaScript use jQuery. It is totally up to you. You can use vanilla JavaScript or include a different framework if you wish. If you're going to use jQuery, it's important to know where in the page jQuery is included. You'll see the preform file is included right after the header web template. That means any JavaScript included in the head of the page or in the header web template won't have access to jQuery. That's why you'll see vanilla JavaScript used as part of the default header web template. I do expect at some point Microsoft will move away from depending on jQuery. One area where it is heavily used is the front side editor, which has been deprecated. Removing the dependency from the product will make it easier for everyone who needs it to get the version they want. Historically, the version used in Power Pages has been a bit behind. For now, if you need a specific version that is different from what the product offers, you need to include that additional version yourself and ensure there are no conflicts. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found the Power Pages tip number 261 on jQuery and Power Pages useful.